Okay, my second response video to Russ, help explain to him a little better. Um, in his first video, we've seen him measuring across two resistors, showing us the uh, phase variation between the two currents of the two coils. Um, this one com coil complete, uh, when we add a resistor in between first and second winding, um, then becomes a series circuit. <clears throat> so um, rather than resistors this time uh, we're going to be showing visually uh, the power dissipation of those resistors and uh, why phase has nothing to do with power being dissipated across a resistance. Here we have two little uh, grain of wheat bulbs inside those um, miniature road lamp lights or roadside lights that are from a train set they are identical uh, they have been traded test carried out again and the results are the same so a uh, little uh, incandescent bulbs here grain of wheat bulbs are um, our replacements for our uh, resistors that were there and uh, this way we don't need to use the scope and um, this way we can also show that uh, the phase difference between the two currents in the same coil um, we do not have to use power factor to calculate power being dissipated by those resistances because they are a pure resistance like these little bulbs so um, we are starting on a very low frequency of 103 kilohertz and um, as you'll see one little bulb is lit up there that is on the input and a little bulb lit up there that is uh, between the two windings the bridge from outside back to center what we're going to do now is we're going to increase our frequency up to about uh, say 900 kilohertz and we can see this little bulb here has gone out this bulb here is still shining away brightly well not brightly but it is shining away now that's um, an incandescent bulb so in other words that is current across a resistor heating up the resistive wire and um, nothing there on the input I'm going to um, increase the frequency get that a little brighter we are now at 2.5 meg um, you see we're much brighter there now and this one here is still not glowing <coughs> okay so we'll call this one here um, R1 which of course is on the input and the other one R2 in between the two coils um, is this one here so very clear indication that um, when measuring dissipated power across the resistor phase has nothing to do with it or um, your phase relationship between voltage and current because that is a current flowing through a resistance with a voltage across it power factor comes into it as I said in the last video when you are measuring um, current through a resistor and the voltage across the inductor resistor combo so Russ if you wanted to uh, demonstrate where you must use power factor you will have both um, scope channel grounds on uh, one side of your resistor one channel of your scope will go across the resistor the other channel of your scope will go across the resistor inductor combo then you will see your um, phase variations between current and voltage and that is when you must take into consideration power factor so if you wanted to do that with your four channel scope um, two grounds will go here on two of your channels one ground from each channel on here one channel 
one scope probe will go across your resistor the other scope probe will go across the resistor and inductor on your other two channels the same thing both your grounds here one probe across the resistor and the other probe across resistor inductor combo that will give you your four channels and you can watch at the same time everything that is happening across our series circuit in this coil your scope being what it is should be able to then do some math calculations um, for L1 and R1 plus R2 and L2 separately um, also it should take into account power factor and you will find this one here is going to be dissipating a whole lot more power than this one here leaving two of your scope channels here simply take one of your scope channels off here or actually from here your voltage one on L1 take that lead leaving your ground here place it at the end and you'll be able to calculate total power using your uh, math function across the resistors and inductors or the coil as a whole and um, at the same time you should be able to calculate power from L2 and R2 so uh, that is the test to carry out three individual ones first two grounds here a scope probe here a scope probe there say so channel A channel B and the two grounds and then to do this one two grounds of the remaining channels will go here and channel C probe will go there and channel D probe will go there so once again that will show you power dissipated across R1 and L1 and also power dissipated across R2 and L2 and then when you want to find out the um, total power into this uh, series circuit two grounds here one channel here for your current and one channel over here for your voltage and that will give you total power into the coil too easy and your math function to, should take into consideration your power factor and uh, calculate on that so here we go with that but um, as you can see this one going nicely this one not going at all uh, indicating that um, R2 is dissipating uh, far more power than R1 which means there is more current flowing through R2 than there is into the circuit as a whole uh, and like I said power factor um, has no meaning when it comes to this test because we are measuring dissipated power across the resistance which is done by Ohm's law only because the coils are not included right thanks for watching and uh, let us know how you go with those tests cheers